Hello friends, welcome to this session of using R for statistical tests. And in this session, we will learn one sample t-test. I am Rajnara Chaure from the Department of Microbiology, the Institute of Science, Mumbai. Now we will move to our R studio. And I have written the script earlier. We'll run that script. And if you want to start a new script, I will suggest you to start a new script. Go to file menu and from that new file and take the R script. R script will open and you can start working here. Just as I go on, you can pause the video and type the code and run the code to understand it more. We'll start. Uh, one sample t-test is the most basic form of t-test. And in this, we already know the population mean or already know the uh, mean of other group. And then we compare our test group, test group mean with the known mean. Now we will use an example, an exp uh, fictitious experimental setup, and that is a growth supplement is developed by a uh, company which increases height of Indian kids in age group of seven years, and uh, average height of kids of age seven is one twenty one point seven centimeter. And we have to find out whether the supplement is effective in increasing the height or not. Therefore, when the uh, children get the supplement, take the supplement for a prescribed uh, period of time, their height shall be more than 121.7 centimeter or average height shall be more than that. And this is the height of uh, around 27 students of age group 7, 27 children of age group 7 is recorded. After taking the height for a prescribed time of period, uh, taking the uh, nutrient supplement for a prescribed time of period. Now we'll run this ST to store it in memory. Vector ST is there for height, height of 27 students or uh, 27 children, and that is there in the environment now. And we will see what length is there, how many values are there in HD vector length could not find the function length spelling mistake is there th length this function gives us the number of values in a vector that 27 values are there in the vector that 27 sample size is below 30 below 30 therefore we have to apply t test but before that we have to ensure because for t test data should be normally distributed this data is continuous data and continuous data tends to be normally distributed, but we'll confirm this using Shapiro.test or Shapiro test. We'll run this Shapiro test. And in Shapiro test, p value is 0 0.73. And this p value is very large than our uh, alpha that is 0 0.05. Therefore, we have to accept the null hypothesis and that null hypothesis is that data is normally distributed. Now, our data is normally distributed. Sample size is less than 30. Our data is uh, normally distributed. Therefore, this is the apt case to use t-test. And we know the population mean also. That population mean is 121.7. Therefore, we'll run the t-test, one sample t-test. Uh, this is the code for one sample t-test. That is the t dot test is the function. In bracket, first argument is the uh, data or uh, variable uh, vector which we will pro provide for the test and mu is the population mean or mean of other group known mean that is 121.7 here in this case and we will run this test and one sample t test data is ht t statistics is 8.71 degree of freedom is 26 because our sample size n is 20, uh, 27 and degree of freedom is n minus 1 that is 26 and p value is 3.414 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 09 that is very less as compared to the alpha value which we decided uh, that is 0 0.05 and our null hypothesis is mean of the test group is equal to known population mean equal to known population mean but that p value is very less as compared to alpha therefore we have to reject the null hypothesis that mean of the test group is not equal to known population mean that 
we have to accept the alternative hypothesis because null hypothesis probability is very less p value is very less and that alternative hypothesis is true mean is not equal to 121.7 and from 95% confidence interval uh, also our mean is not 121 the group mean is not 121 that is between 124 and 126 centimeter and mean actual mean of the uh, group supplemented with nutrient supplement is 125.67 that is our mean is very different than the population mean and therefore we have to accept the alternative hypothesis and based on the available evidence the growth supplement is effective we have to conclude we have to infer that growth supplement is effective in increasing heights of kids of age 7 year and uh, that's it for the session practice a lot you can uh, generate different data sets you can have your hypothetical data sets also and run those data sets using this function t dot test to remember this function uh, very well and uh, thanks for watching this video happy learning if you are like the video please subscribe to my channel mm, press the like button press the bell icon if you want notifications of my upcoming videos and share these videos with friends who need to use these tests for their research work. Thank you. Thanks a lot.